Do you buy this uh, narrow window framing of the intelligence explosion of given that you have to be two orders of magnitude bigger at every generation, if you don't get AGI by GPT-7, that can help you catapult the intelligence explosion? Like you're kind of just fucked as far as like much smarter intelligences go and you're kind of stuck with GPT-7 level models for a long time. Because at that point, you're just like consuming significant fractions of the economy to make that model and we just don't have the wherewithal to like make GPT-8. Yeah, I mean, I, I generally buy that increases in order of magnitude of compute by like, in an absolute terms, almost like diminishing returns on like capability, right? Like we've seen over a couple orders of magnitude the models go from being unable to do anything to be able to like do huge amounts. And it feels to me like each incremental order of magnitude like gives more nines of reliability at things and so it unlocks things like agents. But at least at the moment, I haven't seen like transformatively like this, it doesn't feel like reasoning improves like linearly, so to speak, uh, but rather like somewhat sublinearly. If there is this diminishing increase in capabilities, and um, and that increase costs exponentially more to get, that's actually a bearish sign on like what four point five will be able to do or what five will unlock in terms of economic impact. That being said, for me, the jump between three point five and four is like pretty huge, and so like even if I it's like another three point five to four jump is like ridiculous right like if you if you imagine five as being a 3.5 to four jump like straight off the bat in terms of like ability to do sats and this kind of stuff you yeah, go the from lsat like, performance was yeah, like particularly striking exactly yeah. you go from like not super smart to like very smart to like utter genius in the next generation instantly and it doesn't at least like to me feel like we're, we're gonna sort of jump to utter genius in the next generation but it does feel like we'll get very smart plus lots of reliability and then like we'll see tbd what that continues to look like the jumps that we've seen so far are huge. Um, and even if those in, like, continue on like a smaller scale, we're still in for extremely smart, uh, like very reliable agents, like over the next couple of orders of magnitude. And so like, we didn't sort of fully close the thread on the narrow window thing. Um, but when you, you think of like, let's say GPT-4 cost, I don't know, let's call it $100 million or whatever. Um, you have what the 1B run, the 10B run, the 100B run, all seem very plausible by uh, you know private company standards. And then you can also imagine even like a 1T run being part of like a national consortium or like a, you know, a national level uh, thing, but much harder on the behalf of an individual company. But Sam is out there trying to raise $7 trillion, right? Like he's already preparing for like a whole lot of magnitude more than the- uh, Right, he shifted the order to the- He shifted the order's magnitude here beyond the national level. So I want to point out the one we have a lot more jumps. And even if those jumps are, are relatively smaller, that's still a pretty stock improvement in capability. N not only that, but if you believe claims that GPT-4 is around 1 trillion parameter count, uh, I mean, the human brain is between 30 and 300 trillion synapses. And so that's obviously not a one-to-one -one mapping and, and you, we can debate the numbers, but it seems pretty plausible that we're below brain scale still. Uh, uh, so crucially, the point being that the algorithmic overhead is really high in the sense that, and maybe this is something we should touch on explicitly of, even if you can't keep dumping more compute beyond the models that cost a trillion dollars or something, the fact that the brain is so much more data efficient implies that if you can, we have the compute, if we had like the brain's algorithm to train, um, uh, train yeah. if, we had, if, we, if we could like yeah. train as a sample efficient as humans train from birth, we could make the AGI. Yeah, but the, the sample efficiency stuff, I never know exactly how to think about it because obviously a lot of things are, are hardwired in certain ways, right? And they're like the coevolution of language and sure. like the brain structure. Um, yeah. So it's hard to say. Also, there are some results that uh, if you make your model bigger, it becomes more sample efficient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, the original scaling was paper right. had that right. Like yeah. larger models are more sample efficient. Right. So so maybe that well, also just solves it. Um, like you don't have yeah, to be more yeah, data maybe. efficient, but if your model's bigger, then you also just are more yeah, data efficient. 